Hello YouTube, this is an Ace Special, and today I've decided to talk about the absolute disaster of the game called Air Control. This is a title that has stirred up a bit of controversy recently. Before I begin talking about the issues I take with this game, I need to say that I've never actually played it before myself, and refused to spend money on it. The reason for this is because I so strongly disagree with the business practices of the company that made this game. And it and it's his to the extent that it actually borders on criminal to actually buy this and support them that way. The problem with not actually buying this, however, is that I couldn't actually record any of my own footage for this. So the footage in the background will include the trailer videos I could find from the game's devs, uh, Jim Sterling's two YouTube videos on this game, and a Let's Play video by Cohen and Lashers. Please have a look at the stuff that Jim Sterling, Cohen, and Lashers have done for their views on this game, and feel free to describe to either channel. Now, to start off, I want to talk about when I first heard about this game. I saw it either a few weeks or a few months ago on Steam Greenlight, trying to get onto Steam. I was a little curious, so I looked over the Greenlight info and watched the trailer. It seemed to me like it was one of those extremely stupid, completely out there joke games with absolutely off the wall scenarios. And in this day and age, I'd say that there is at least a considerable audience for the game that can deliver that. Some games I can list off that did just that, that very thing include Goat Simulator, Super Amazing Wagon Adventure, and you can even argue Mujin did that. Looking it over, I'm sure you'll notice that the graphics were about as piss poor as you can get, but for an absurd joking game, you're supposed to be laughing, not necessarily looking at the pretty textures. So that is something I was willing to let slide in this case. Looking over the green light page, I was satisfied with what I saw, and I ended up doing something that I now regret. Ladies and gentlemen, I was one of the idiots that greenlit this sucker. Here's the thing, guys. I, be I still believe that the concept itself was an interesting idea, and had it been decently and honestly executed, it might have been a solid title in the stupid joke games genre. But instead, we have a game that does nothing but cause harm for the games industry. The first issue I will mention will be the controls. I need to say off the bat that I have no problem with controls being complex or even difficult to learn. I play the Ace mod for Arma 2, and that mod uses both of the window keys for some important tasks. So I can be more than accommodating for complex controls. What I will complain about, however, are controls that are just simply bad. Let me explain. In this game, for example, the ability to look around and the ability to move the mouse cursor are the both bound to the mouse uh, itself. So while you're trying to click on some random thing, your character is also sloshing around like a drunken sailor. And it also doesn't help that your screen can get cluttered with a whole bunch of pointless buttons. Basically what I'm saying is that the control setup is absolutely screwed over we haven't seen in a long, long time. Then there are the bugs. This game is just littered with crashes. If you start up the game playing one mode of gameplay and then try to play a different mode of the game, you get a crash. If you restart a level, you get a crash. Hell, picking certain modes off the bat can cause the game to crash. I've heard horror stories from professional game critics of the, of the game locking up at least six times before they could get one mode of the game to work. And no, this is not early access. This is a full release. Then there's the way they've set up the levels. For example, I get that the Flappy Bird minigame is meant to be a joke, but when you do this every fourth level, the joke just wears thin. And then there's the fact that some of the levels, they've got it so that all you do is quite literally one walk from one end of the plane or one end of the level to the other, and it's mission complete. I wish I was kidding! But I've saved my biggest issue for last, and this is a very specific reason why I refuse to buy this game. The developer, Killjoy Games, has gone to the extreme extent of stealing other people's work and using it for their own. Songs replacing the game without giving the songwriters without getting the songwriters permission. The voice acting was the audio of a Delta Airlines safety video, stolen without giving credit for ask or asking. And remember that Flappy Bird parody minigame? They actually used the coding and some of the models from a free tutorial on the internet of how to create a Flappy Bird game using the Unity engine. They took the free demonstration tutorial material and used it in a full game. So yes, everyone is well within their rights to get pissed off at the shameful display that devs have done here. You want to know what the worst part about this is, though? Had the game been made by people who actually gave a damn and didn't steal work, it could have easily been a worthwhile game. 
If they had used completely original work, if they had polished the game to get rid of the bugs and had a control setup that was reasonable, it might have been a game that catered well enough to people who liked funny, wacky games. Hell, if they had did all that and threw in the more mission variety like I suggested, it could have been a hit for the funny, wacky gamer crowd that we haven't seen in a good while. As it stands now, though, it is a disgrace to the history of gaming. I usually avoid talking about games that I hate, but this is one I feel compelled to tell people about. Do not buy this game. This is not a suggestion. This is not a request. It is an out-and-out -out order. Do not buy air control. I'll see you guys later.